Hey guys, here's a bonito fish. I'm just, just gonna steam it and pick it in pieces and make our fire fire here. Um, with coconut cream in the oven. Hey guys, welcome back. My fish is cooled down. And I'm gonna have to break it up and take the bones off. So make sure there's no bone in there. I'll keep the skin because it's yummy. Now just break it up in there. See how easy it is to come apart. Yeah, you make our nice um fire you thingy. This fish is perfect for it. There's no, um, because it's very dry when it's cooked. So, I'm gonna put a liquid in with a coconut cream. See the bone just come off it. And just break it up. Hope you're all having a nice day. Just make sure all the bones have come off, see? Bones just stick out with themselves. Hey guys, welcome back. There's my fish, it's all um, mashed up. I'm gonna let them know now, Dre. It's a bonito fish. It's perfect for this um, fire air thing. Smash it all up, spread them around. Okay, there's some two large onion. Give it a squeeze. Bit of garlic, a couple of cloves, give it a little bit of mix in there. That's our fire here. Okay, I already mixed the coconut, bit of salt. Yeah, and our coconut cream. Mm-hmm. Really have salt in there. And put it in the oven on a high heat. Put it in the middle shell. Show the fish and onion on the bottom, going down. Do a little tap. Um, black pepper. And a little bit more salt. One salt. Okay, going in the oven. Until cook until the oil start coming out of coconut cream. Okay. Hey guys, I just got my knife set. I got it off the marketplace. And here's a hundred dollar voucher for wine. Oh, thank you so much. Here's my knife. Thank you. Hey guys, here's our fire here. Mmm, smells so good. Yeah, so done. Punchy on the side? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hey guys, look at here. This is a um, big mushroom we collected from our neighbor's lawn across the, across the road. They eat. Yeah, and they eat up all day. 
um, field mushroom or horse mushrooms. They huge and they delicious. And um, I'm gonna cook some. Um, cook it with some pork. Yeah. They look delicious. Hey guys, welcome back. I've got um, pork chops here. I've got some onion rings on the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna cook it with our mushrooms. Bit of garlic or slice it very thin. Bit of tincture. Just for a quick lunch. Yeah. Get a bit of black pepper. A little bit. Yeah. A bit more ring of onion on top. I just slice it thin. And I'll add our mushrooms last. When I our food's half cooked but all those onions gonna be melted down and gonna be next soon enough here hope you're having a good Sunday yeah okay a little bit of this soy sauce light soy sauce Sure, you cover all the pork. Mm -hmm. like this sauce, soy sauce will give it a flavor, the saltiness, and a color. You know, it's like a gravy, a pork gravy. I'm doing here, all that in one, one dish. Yeah, a little bit of um, vegetable oil. Okay, I'm gonna add the cornflour. Some tablespoon of cornflour. I'm gonna add like four. Because there's a lot of moisture gonna come out of that um the book. Yeah, I'm gonna add some water in here, like half a cup of water and then add it on that book. This is what make our gravy. So give it a quick mix. And if you have fine cook it, cook it and if it's um watery, you can add more corn flour. But we wanted a nice yummy gravy on that. Okay, I'm gonna Cover this on foil and put it in the oven and um, clean up our mushrooms. Mushroom we got it from the cross the road. <laughs> hey guys, we'll come back. This is our mushroom. And just gonna peel the outside skin. And this skin you can boil, um, throw it in your compost or your garden. And it'll grow you more mushrooms. So we get free mushroom and we get free baby mushrooms. Beautiful. Huge mushrooms. The time of the year with all the mushrooms coming up. Go to the cow pallet um place and yeah. Got the top off the skin, but the skin is good too. But yeah, and the stem you can eat the stem and get peel all the skin off too. I just cut off that. Yeah, yeah look at the stem here, just peel it off all the skin. Yeah. 
the order in your garden and now yeah, you have new mushrooms. It's going to be delicious and beautiful and yummy. And guys, mushrooms. And it's ready now. On top of our pork when it's nearly ready. Natural healthy food. And you can find it in a cow palate. Cut up a stem. And the stem will go duck into the, our gravy in our pork. Mm, it's going to be a lot of mushroom flavors. And we've got more. Okay, I'm going to keep building this and cutting it off, cutting it up, and yeah, it's a fun, fun thing to do, I'm enjoying doing it, <laughs> and cut it up, yummy. Okay guys, I'll keep going with this. Hey guys, and welcome back. Here's our pork gravy. See how runny, nice and thick. Onions is, and pork is cooking on low heat. I cooked this on, a, I think it's about an hour and um, 20 minutes now, because I cooked it on a really low in the oven. I had a foil on it and then I took the foil off. When it gets too thick, I add more um more water, more liquid. Now it's time to add our mushrooms and put it back in the oven. Okay, let's add our mushroom on top. This time I'm not going to put a foil on, but keep leaving it low. I want the mushroom to start drinking our most of that gravy. There's a lot of mushroom. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. You just um, push them in to the gravy. Delicious. Just like that. Now that mushroom is going to be juice come out of it. And sunk into the gravy. I think you need to put a better pat of foil on it the first and first um, 20 minutes and take it off. Okay, these are the ones that I cut in half. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Get more of um, that light soy sauce on top of it and it'll help tugging our gravy too. Okay. A little bit more of oil just on top of the mushroom. Or you can add butter if you want. Okay, I'll put this back in the oven. I think I'll cover it with the foil this time again. And then take it off after 20 minutes. Oh. Look at this guys. Look at the mushrooms on top. It's cooked beautiful. Yeah. It's cooking on low. Absolutely yummy. Smell that mushrooms, so beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna serve a little black. This is my tongue. Then I'm gonna get some pork. Mm. 
Oh. Look at that, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at the mushroom. Oh. See the stem of the mushrooms go went dark. Some onions. Look at that. Just beautiful. Yeah. And there's some oh, gravy. Oh, yummy, yummy gravy. We got a jasmine rice here. And that gravy, ah, oh, it's just full of flavor. Beautiful. Add it on. Yummy. Okay, I've got some, um, what do you call those? Beautiful. Refreshing. like a salad mm -hmm. beautiful you know guys our dinner is served yummy okay that's ready to eat you guys um I, I don't know, it doesn't get into my head and my brain yet. What are those, um, like cucumber, yeah. So I use a potato peel and, um, yeah, scrub it off and then, um, soak it with salt, just salt for, um, what do you call? For a couple of, for five minutes. And then I roll it up. Mm-hmm. And it's beautiful refreshment go with our mushroom, pork, gravy, and chestnut rice. Yeah, your dinner is served. And uh, a beautiful pork, gravy, mushroom. Lots of onion, garlic, and ginger. Mm hmm. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your time. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video. It still doesn't pop in my head. Oh, zucchinis. Yeah, this is zucchinis, guys. You, peel, you you do it like that with a piece of potato peel and then um, in a bowl and then put salt in it and leave it set for 10 or 5 minutes and wash it off in the cold water. Yeah, and then roll it up like a beautiful... Mm, I love the zucchini roll because it's got all the vitamins.